Hello and welcome to SharePoint Edutech's demo of Windows 8 apps. What I'm going to be covering in this demo is how we're able to use Windows 8 apps to interface with SharePoint. So firstly, just a bit about me. My name's Brandon Scott. I'm a Windows 8 and SharePoint developer. Um, my email address you can see there is brandon at sharepointedutech.com and also my Twitter handle is on screen. So if you have any queries uh, to do with any of the content that I show within this demo, please feel free to email or tweet me and I'll get back as soon as I can. So what we're able to do in this demo is show how we're able to read items from SharePoint within a Windows 8 environment and also how we're able to add items back. We offer a secure login to Office 365 uh, within the Windows 8 app environment and also this will work on premise with SharePoint 2013. We're able to display any, any lists that are uh, out of the box with SharePoint so there's no server configuration to do, it's all native within the application. Um, it's tablet ready so it will work on the surface um, and all the touch gestures are there and yeah so the application features a normal Windows 8 modern UI which is really sleek and really nice to use. So what we're going to do is go straight into the demo here. I'm running uh, the, the app within uh, Visual Studio so I'm just going to go ahead and run that. So immediately straight off the bat what we have here is uh, the a custom login prompt. So when I th when I was designing the app, I thought it was really important to not span data across many different pages. So I thought it was really important not to have a login page and then have the data page and then have to go off and edit that and then delete it in separate pages. Everything is in one page and it's all accessible and it's layered on top of another, which I think is really nice. So what I'm going to do is go ahead and log into our Office 365 uh, demo site. Uh, so I'm just log in here. this in. Now what you'll see below the URL box is that we have uh, two checkboxes. Uh, we have an agree to terms of service uh, box and we also have a remember me box. Now what's really cool about the um, the remember me box is that it interfaces with the Windows 8 credential manager which is native within Windows 8 um, and allows users to store uh, credentials safely and I'll show you that a bit more. I uh, just put that on there. Like that. So what we're going to do is just tick these boxes here and we're able to log straight into the application. Now we've got instant notification that something's happening. So this is this is the main application. Now these these colors are just placeholders. These will be replaced with um, with other uh, images in due course. So we're able to just flick through this data and view all the different data within the list. So if I just uh, come out of this list uh, and go into IE you able to see the demo site here uh, and the list that we're running from, latest news. Uh, so here's all the data here. Uh, so if I go into Mufti Day, uh, you'll see M uh, Monday the 11th will be a Mufti Day. And then if I go straight back into the application, you'll see Mufti Day and then the, the same date is there. So that's reading from the list. There's all one touch, one access, which is really cool. And we're able to right click here and show the Windows 8 app bar, which is native within Windows 8 apps. We're able to then add an announcement. So what I'm going to do here is just say testing the Windows 8 app, giving a demo. And we can give an expiry date, which again uses a custom control, which is really nice. It's really sleek. And I'll show you this on a touch environment in a second. Uh, so we're going to go uh, September 2013 and just click that. And then what we're going to do is just add the announcement. Now this gives us uh, instant notification back up here with Windows 8 touch uh, toasts. Uh, which is standard throughout Windows 8, not just the apps. Um, and immediately it's added our, our announcement back. So what we're going to go and do is just refresh here. It will tell us that it's refreshed. And you'll see that the, the item's added here, giving a demo. So I can just go straight back into uh, IE, uh, refresh this. And you'll see that the, the list item has just added here. So a few seconds ago it was modified. So if we jump back into the app, so yeah, we, we can access all the information here. Now we can also go uh, and uh, go into the settings menu. Uh, just that, that was a Windows I shortcut that we can go into. We're we able to see the uh, permissions that it uses. So it uses the notifications, which is all standard. And we can also go into uh, user credentials, which is standard. Well, we, it, this, is a, this is a custom solution for how we're going to be able to set up a, a URL and then modify that. So we can change the username, we can change the URL and then update that all within the application so it's it's all accessible here. 
So what I'm going to do is just close the application by dragging down and this this and then stop it within Visual Studio. And then what I can do is go ahead and launch that straight back up. So immediately here you'll see that there's no login box, it's just a loading screen. Now this loads really nice and quickly because it's all running from Office 365 or it would also load really quickly from within your um, your SharePoint 2013 um, server. And we're able to log straight back into the app so we don't need to put any username or password back in all because it's stored within the credential manager so what I can go do now is show you this so this is the credential manager you're able to access that from going in control panel user accounts and family safety and then credential manager so what you can see here is that the um, the credentials for our office 365 demo site is stored here we have the, the we, we have the identifier for, for the site here we have the username uh, and we have the uh, another ID here and then the password. Now this is really cool because within the in an enterprise environment like a business or a school, Active Directory is able to redirect this credential manager to wherever it likes. It's able to put up um, roaming. So if a user um, logs in once to an application and then logs out and goes to another machine somewhere else in the school or business, they're able to log straight back in and then the news uh, app will then launch and be able to show them the data automatically so there's no further login it's all single sign-on from that point onwards which is really cool uh, so that's all stored nice and safely within the within the credential store now what what we can do is go and show you in the simulator environment what what happens so if I launch this it will launch the Windows 8 uh, simulator for Visual Studio and we're able to show these um, these touch gestures here so if I click here uh, this enables me to emulate a finger so I can go and swipe uh, backwards and forwards between this this data here which is really nice if you imagine this on a surface you're able to just access all the data from one, within within one screen we're able to flick upwards to add, add the announcement there or refresh if we wanted to so that that shows that it's all touch ready so it's really important to put a story behind what we can actually do with this application and I can imagine two really big circumstances which I kind of um, which I imagined a lot when I was designing this application my first one is within a business environment so in reception you you can have a, a podium which has a touch screen and users are able to go up to the podium and flip through your latest news from your SharePoint list um, in real time so we can go in so the, the user could go up to the podium and just flip through all, all the data and, and read it at their own leisure which is really nice because everything's in one place, it's really easy to access, it's all touch touch friendly um, and it's just something to do while they wait. Also you could have it in a score environment where this application is deployed on on all, all machines and you're able to put it in the start menu in a prominent place so you, users are able to go in and be able to see all, all the data straight away from within the within the start menu. What we want to do further uh, within the coming months is able to uh, implement live tiles within this application. So when a um, certain event happens or when, when, a, when a list item is added, a user will be able to see that within their, their uh, start menu. For example, uh, if we go back here, uh, I don't think I have anything installed in the simulator, but the news, item, uh, the news um, app, for example, will be able to uh, flips between different news items and shows different images um, so that that will be really cool uh, in time to come when um, that that's that's available to do um, so that that's showing it within a t within a touch environment we've also got uh, the, the ability to deploy this at home so parents are able to go in they, they only have to log in once so they don't have to navigate between web pages all the time and they're able to view all the different data that they need to see from within their own custom list um, so everything is in one place and it's really really easy to access so that's really the, the Windows 8 app what we're able to do with it uh, and and where we've come with it so far we hope to be able to uh, give access to editing and deleting list items in due course um, and also the, the live tiles which I was talking about a minute ago so that's um, that's our Windows 8 app uh, that's how we've come with uh, come so far with it um, we'd like any any uh, feedback that you have on it so please feel free to email chris at sharepointedutech.com or indeed brandon at sharepointedutech.com with any queries that you have or if you want anything clearing up with what we're able to do with it thanks very much for listening and we'll see you next time thanks